Hello everyone, this is Eric Sove, also known as Z Power Diver. Today I'll do the walkthrough into uh, integrating an image in full resolution into a Word template using CDS file or image data type. So, first part is to make sure that you do have a Word template that can accept the image. So, first thing first, you create a new document, your Word template. Uh, you can say this is going to be my image and then in the developer option and if it's not enabled simply do a right click on the ribbon customize it through here customize ribbon you have the developer section just be sure it's checked do an OK and it's going to appear so within that developer section you go on this one here, which is a picture control, content control. Insert that into your document. And here we go. We have the image here. I'll do uh, set the property. So we have a name that we recognize. So my demo image, for example. I'll remove the bounding box and cannot be edited. Uh, just so this way we don't have that uh, box here and stuff. So do this save this document so I'll save it in my OneDrive here into the demo so demo template or image okay and you could add more data in there and stuff but here we're just demoing the actual image control so I've got my template good here so I go into my environment within my solution and what I'll do is I'll create an entity within my solution to contain the image field. So just create a image, so demo image entity. And just to show you that it can work with both the uh, image and file data type within CDS, I'll create two fields. So image data type field. So set it as image uh, here. It can be primary image in, or not. Uh, in this case, it's going to set it as primary because it's the only one, but you, we could have two of them and that's no problem. And then file data type field, set it as file. And the assumption here is the uh, file data type will be an actual image. Uh, let's just take that into account or as a uh, prerequisite here. So my entity is being created. I have two fields. One is the image data type and the, the other one is the uh, we should have it here file data type here okay I'll edit my main form so I can add data for both of them there so yeah no problem let's sign in everybody can see my password excellent copy it login <laughs> so Within my form here, what I'll do is I'll add those two fields in there. So the file data type and the image data type. Save it. And then publish. Two step dance. Go back into my entity once it's done. Back here. And I'll go and uh, put in a one record, so add record, that opens up the form that I just published. <laughs> and from here, uh, so demo, test, whatever. So we just save it. And then I'll go and pick the image here, uh, demo, here's a JPEG file. And I'll do it here too. Or we can test with both of them. Okay, so that's the full image. Yeah, that's me. That's my brother. That's my new bike. <laughs> okay. 
that's the full resolution image that we can see here. Uh, save and close. So refresh data. So the record is there. So I have my entity with an image. Now we'll go and create the flow that will actually include this into the word template. So I'll simply create a flow that is uh, manually triggered because you know it's just for the heck of it. First step, first step I want to do is I'm going to go out and get the record uh, from that uh, entity. So I'll do a list record on that entity, which is well, what was the name I gave it? <laughs> Demo image entity. Demo image entity and I'll just do a top count of one so it just picks up the first and uh, from there I can do either a first a compose with the first but I'll go Joe just go the easy route of each for each row in there for the values and here what I want to do is I want to go and get the actual image or file so in my current see yet get file or image because if I take the actual image from the record actually yeah if I get the just the image from the record so I, let's say I do a get record from that one and I use the image field, it's going to do a thumbnail. So the image and the word template will be like uh, not at the full resolution. So the way out of this is to go and actually go and get the uh, the full spec using this, um, this action. So item ID is the one from the record here. So demo. image entity and what field so I get my boat the, the file and image data type so let's do file or image and I tell you it's the same so let's go image so we're sure it's the right one and image size just to be sure it's full resolution okay so once I've done that what I want to do is actually convert it to make sure that the um, uh, the file is in the right format. I'm going to convert convert it to a base 64, and to do that, I'll do a compose. And in here, what I'll do is uh, I've got my text here. So I want to make sure that the image, uh, the content type, is image JPEG because otherwise it's the um, binary like old screen type of thing. So here and in the content here. I put the actual result from him from the uh, previous step. So out of my compose, what I do is I go and use the word online business connector and do a populate a Microsoft Word template. Where is it from? It's from my OneDrive for Business. It's in OneDrive. Now I go and select the actual file in demo. And that's the word template that we just did. Got it. So now it's asked me for the field. So it picked up the field from the uh, document, my demo image, and we just use the output from the compose. Boom, created. Now let's actually, let's go and create the actual file. So in OneDrive for Business, I do create file. Where do I want to create it? So again, I'll go and select the right folder in my demo folder. Give it a name. Uh, here, just to be sure, the name is unique. I'll do UTC now function and give it the extension the docs. And the actual content is the output of the first step. Give it a name. CPT demo flow. Template. 
complete. Save it. And then we'll test it. See how that goes. Save. Test it. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good to go. Done. So it's going to go through the steps of... Oh, what did I do wrong here? Not base uh, 64 encoded. What happened? What did I do wrong? Oh, I had an internal error. Uh, compose, boom, boom, boom. Okay, what happened? What happened? Oh, I just went directly with our image, you see? So, let's do it right. Fun stuff. And I'm going to leave that in the actual um, content, so you see what not to do. So, I had to do the base64 around it. So now we have base64. See? Boom. It's kind of funny because I said Let's do this. And I didn't do it. <laughs> so let's test this out again. It's going to run. So go through the list record. Apply to each, which is only one. And then in it, that apply to each, it should go out. Yeah. Process the file. Populate the template. Create the file. So let's go see if we have that file. here we have that file so boom this is the one that got created here oh uh, no that's the image sorry the docs is here <coughs> and we have our image here we go it's a bit crammed because of the the way i've set up the picture and but since it's not editable i cannot change it but you know it's the full resolution itself so I hope this was useful and uh, if you like it, just thumbs up. Bye guys.